First responders in Birmingham carrying out multiple water rescues this afternoon. Heavy rain caught a lot of drivers in some flash flooding. Look at that. At least one person taken to an area hospital in critical condition. So they're dealing with that. We could see our own bad weather of sorts uh, soon. Feast, uh, first alert chief meteorologist <laughs> trying to put that all together. Scott Padgett here to uh, walk us through the next 24, 36 hours or so. And we're going to be seeing the storms developing later in the afternoon hours than into the evening hours. So most of your St. Patrick's Day relatively dry. We'll give you that forecast. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s by the time you wake up, warming into the low 80s into the afternoon hours. We'll have a cap on the atmosphere. Sphere, which will limit that storm initialization, but then it should be developing for us later on in the afternoon. You see that on the first alert, future sky forecast through tonight. The cloud cover increases for us. You'll see that mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow morning. It's going to be a warm and breezy day with those south winds holding on near 15 to 25. Into the afternoon, the cloud covers there. We do have a dry line developing out to the west and into our late afternoon hours. We start to see some showers and storms developing in the east sides of North Texas. Latest information is coming in. And as the cold front starts to work into North Texas, we're going to be seeing this line of storms developing from near parts of Grayson County, stretching down through the Metroplex and possibly down to near Johnson County between 8, 9, and 10 o'clock, then continuing to make its way east by the time we get to near midnight, 1, 2 in the morning, through parts of Hunt County into Kaufman County and continuing eastward. So the threat is there for the potential of some of those storms to reach severe limits. It's that slight risk of severe storms that does include parts of the Metroplex for the east. Evening hours. The biggest threat, possibly some damaging wind gusts up to near 50 to 60 miles per hour, quarter size hail or larger. The tornado threat's not high, it's in that low category, uh, so it's still something we'll keep our eyes on. The southerly winds will hold on, gusting up to near 30 to 35 miles per hour ahead of this cold front that's going to work its way in. So if you're going to be maybe heading to Dickey's Arena for tomorrow, just be prepared to stay weather aware. Temperatures will be in the uh, low 80s for us, and then we'll see temperatures in the 60s as we go into the evening hours uh, for. For tomorrow, so uh, it's going to be a windy day, but also some of those storms are around 67. The temperature for us right now at DFW with that south southeast wind holding on. We're at 65 in Decatur to 62 in McKinney, 63 in Gainesville right now to 61 in Terrell. So you saw that sneak peek of the forecast. We'll see temperatures into the low 80s for tomorrow with that rain chance at 20% going to 50% in the evening hours. Cold front moves through. We're at 66 on Friday, then into the weekend. Nice weekend for us. Temperatures in the mid. 70s. Next Monday into Tuesday, another cold front arriving for us, an area of low pressure moving through. Rain and storm chances around 80%, possibly some severe weather again Monday night. It's too soon to really give you the parameters of that, but just be weather aware. And by next Wednesday, the rain's out of here, and we have temperatures in the mid 60s with mostly sunny skies on the way down. And that, and that seven day looks like a spring forecast right there, doesn't it? Thank you, sir.